Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2018 Ford F-250, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the B&W Custom Underbed Installation Kit for B&W 5th Wheel Companion Trailer Hitches. This 5th Wheel Installation Kit is designed to let you install your B&W Companion 5th Wheel Trailer Hitches. The underbed design of this kit allows for full truck bed access when you're ready. It's under five minutes to convert your empty truck bed into a fifth wheel hitch. We'll start by unlocking our B&W hitch and installing our fifth wheel adapter. We have ours pre-assembled, but you can adjust the uprights here depending on your truck and trailer combination. At this point, the hitch is ready to attach to the trailer. There's a little clip here that you can release. Basically, it's a safety pin. Then you can swing the handle out and you can watch the jaws open. You're ready to back into your trailer now. Once you're secure under the trailer, you can reinstall the clip. Since the fifth wheel installation kit doubles as a gooseneck hitch, when you're not towing your fifth wheel, you can remove it, turn it over, and we can store it upside down in the hitch. That way we'll have full bed access. Another thing that really separates this hitch apart from some of the others is how easy it is to use, especially the handle. Whenever you're ready to unlock your ball, just grab it, pull it back, slide it to the left, and you're done. Whenever you are ready to use it, or put it in that towing or locked position, pull it to the right and let it back in. Some of the other ones are a little tougher. You kind of have to pull it out and kind of find that locked position and mess around with it. This one, you don't even have to think about it. Just grab it, lock it, and you're ready to go. Put it right back in. To begin our installation, we're first going to temporarily remove our spare tire and that'll give us a little more room to work. Now we can hop up in the bed of our truck and take a few measurements. That way we find out where we need to create our hole. Now I wanna point out, whenever you take your measurements, you wanna measure from the end of the bed itself and not the tailgate. And so that'll give you the distance and then you're going to need to find the center of the bed and the way I do that is measure from wheel well to wheel well and split the difference and that'll give us the center. So once you make your mark where you need to drill after taking your measurements you can grab a hole saw and create a opening. Now before you do this it's never a bad idea to kind of get underneath the truck and look down there and make sure there's nothing of importance that we can actually damage. Once you make your hole, it's not a bad idea to take a file and just kind of work the edges and get them nice and smooth. Go ahead and grab a vacuum and clean up our mess. Now that we do have some bare metal exposed, it's not a bad idea to grab some spray paint uh, and just get a layer on it just to help keep it a little protected. Underneath the truck here, what we're gonna do is lower our exhaust a little bit, give us some more room to work. And if you come back here to this hanger here towards the back, there's gonna be four bolts holding it up. We're gonna have two 10 millimeters on this side of the frame rail and then two more just like it over on the other side. Now if you move over to our wheel well, we can get our side plates installed. Now I'm on the passenger side and the plates are gonna be a little bit different, so just keep an eye out for that. The way you can tell uh, the side plates is the passenger side is going to be a little bit shorter. The driver's side is gonna be a little bit longer. And you can always check your instructions. There's a bunch of diagrams that'll kind of help identify each plate. What we're gonna do is take our long bolts and a flat washer, two of them. If you hold our side plate up, it's actually gonna line up with these two holes in the frame. And just take our bolts and pass them through. And then we can move underneath the truck 
to get the other hardware installed. So here's where our bolt passes through on the inside of our frame rail here. So what we're going to do is take a flat washer, a split lock washer, and a hex nut. And we're just going to get both those started hand tight for now. Now one thing I do want to mention, some trucks are going to have these brackets here installed right out of the factory like ours does today. Uh, if yours does not, what you would do at this point, or before you put your hardware on, would take the bracket that is included with the hitch, put that on the side of the frame, and use that same hardware to get that hand tight. Now we can get ready to install our cross member brackets. There's going to be four of these total two for passenger side, two for driver side. And before you put these up, what I like to do is these holes are threaded and sometimes that powder coating can kind of get down in that thread uh, and make it a little difficult to get our bolts installed. So if you just grab a half inch bolt out of the kit, get it started hand tight and then run it down, pull it out. That just makes it a little easier to get all of our hardware once we have it up on the truck. Now we're going to have to come underneath the truck to attach our brackets, but just to give you an idea on how these work, this one is going to be in the front and it's going to be pointing towards the back. This one's going to be in the rear and it's going to be pointing towards the front. So they're going to point towards each other. Now the driver's side, the brackets are shaped a little bit differently, but it's the same concept. So to get these in, And you kind of have to work it up and over our exhaust. And then slide it on top of our inner and outer brackets on our frame rail. So that one will sit like that. And more or less the same thing with the front one. We're going to get those brackets loosely secured using our hex bolts that come with some thread locker on them. Now each one of our brackets is going to have one bolt on the inside of our frame rail. And now that we got both of them hand tight, we can move to the outside of the frame rail and get those as well. Now the other side of our truck is going to be set up the exact same way. So we're just going to repeat that whole process over there. Now we can take our front cross member and somewhat pre-assemble it to get it installed. Now there is a few things you got to kind of have to pay attention to, to make sure you orient this in the right position. And what I've done is actually figured that out and just kind of wrote up in passenger side, just to kind of make it a little easier for me. The front cross member bracket, you're going to be able to tell it's the passenger side. It's going to have four holes. And inside, of the cross member, one of the sides is going to have a welded seam. You're going to want that welded seam side to face up towards the bed of the truck. Now the way this is going to work, it's going to sit in front of our brackets and get bolted in like this. On that back side, we're going to want to take a washer plate here and the holes will line up with the holes in the cross member. And on the passenger side, these two holes here, take your large 5 8 bolts and drop them down like that. And this is how your pre-assembled cross member should look like. Now we can go to our front brackets and get it mocked up. So take our front cross member and get that up in place. Get that lined up and we're going to secure the passenger side first over here. Our bolts line up. We can grab a split lock washer followed by a hex nut. 
going to get these hand tight. Same hardware combination for the other bolt. Then we're able to move over to the driver's side and get that loosey secured as well. On the driver's side, we're going to have one large bolt. So this will run through the bracket as well as our cross member. That push through. And on this side, we're going to take this spacer block, put that on, followed by a split lock washer and a hex nut. Now we can grab our rear cross member and again this has threaded holes in it so what I went ahead and did was use the corresponding hardware to clean all them threads out. So we're going to take this and push it up against our rear brackets. And what we're going to do from this side, let's take our hardware to get it loosely secured. We're going to have a 5 8 bolt, a flat washer, and a split lock washer. Now before we put our center section up, what we're going to do is come back to our frame plate or side plate hardware and switch it out for the larger diameter 5 8 bolts. Now the reason I use these smaller ones at first is because that gives our side plate and everything else a lot more wiggle room and it makes it easier to line all of our components up. But with that being said, and everything's lined up and hand tight bolted together, what we're going to do is switch out our side plate hardware one by one, pull that off, we can move around to the outside of the frame rail push this bolt out and get it replaced with the larger one. So the hardware combination is more or less going to be the same, just larger. We'll take our flat washer, I mean it's bolt, run it through, go back to the inside of the frame rail, get the rest of the hardware started, and then just do that one by one. So on this side again, pretty much the same combination, our flat washer, split lock washer, and a hex nut. So if we come up here to our front cross member, what I'm going to do is loosely get our hardware in place that's going to attach to the center section. And so what you're going to want to do is take the half inch long bolts and with the head of the bolt facing towards the front of the truck, you're just going to want to pass them through. I'm going to go ahead and do all four. And then what I'm going to do is just pull that bolt more or less flush, that front cross member. That way we'll, while we're holding our center section up, it'll just be a lot easier just to be able to push the head of the bolt instead of trying to find the hole and work it through everything. We grab our center section. And you have to put this in in a particular way. You want the handle here to be on the driver's side. With that being said, we'll lift it up. Lined up. And push our bolts through. With all of our bolts ran through, we can take a flat washer, a split lock washer, and a hex nut. And we're going to get all of those hand tight. The other three bolts are going to take that same hardware combination. For this side of our center section, the hardware that we're going to use is a half inch bolt. We're going to put on a split lock washer and a flat washer. And then you can come in from this side and get all those started. Now we can start to tighten up our hardware and the ones that you want to tighten up first 
are going to be the bolts that are holding our center section to our front and rear cross member. Now for all the other hardware, what we're gonna do is tighten it down enough to hold all of our brackets nice and flush to each other, but not so tight that we can't come back and make a minor adjustment. Now what you want to do is hop up in the bed of the truck and we could take a look at our hitch here. So we want to make sure that the hitch is nice and centered in that hole that we created. And you want to make sure that the square opening is nice and straight. Back underneath the truck, what we can do is tighten down all of the larger bolts that hold our cross members to the brackets. The next bolt we can tighten is this bolt here that had the pre-applied thread locker on it on the passenger front. We'll run that all the way down. And then we can tighten the same bolt over on the driver's side. However, we're gonna do this one right here in the back. Go back to the passenger side. We're gonna do the same thing, just with the one in the back. And again, moving over to the driver's side, we can do the one that's in the front. Once you get them bolts tightened, what you're gonna to wanna to do is hop up in the bed of the truck and make sure everything is still nice and straight and centered. I went ahead and verified that it is. And then we can come back to the uh, outside of our frame rails here. We can tighten down these two bolts. And then you can go ahead and snug up these bolts. Now we can use a torque wrench to torque all of the hardware down to the amount specified in the instructions. Now when you do this, you want to make sure to use that same pattern that we did a minute ago to snug down all the bolts. Now that all of our hardware is torqued down, we can get our handle installed. So you'll want to be on the driver's side here. And there's not a ton of room to work with, so you might have to kind of slide this in at an angle and play with it to get it to go through. What you're going to do is take the handle in and push that forward until this bent portion kind of clears our wheel well there. You have to be a little patient with this because, like I said, not a ton of room, but you'll find that spot that just allows it to drop in. And take it and kind of move it to about the center of our bracket here. That should get us pretty close to where we need to be. So underneath the truck, here's where our handle came through. And we can kind of move it to where we need it to be. But to make life a little easier, getting it secured to our center section, what you can do is take the pen and pull it out and lock it. So you pull it all out, push it towards the driver, uh, or I'm sorry, the front of the truck. What we're gonna do is take our carriage bolts and drop them into the holes in our handle. And line those up. the holes here. What you might have to do, since it kind of sits at an angle, is 
work it around a little bit. I'll just get these loosely on for now. What I'll do is release this pen. And I can come back with a half inch socket and snug these down. Now we need to drill out some holes for our safety chain U-bolts. And we're gonna be using these two holes as a guide on each side of our center section. So what I'm gonna do is take a smaller drill bit and drill pilot holes from the bottom up. And then we can go up inside of the bed and enlarge them coming down, makes it a little bit easier. With our private holes made, now we can enlarge them to the correct size. Now we enlarge your holes, we can clean up our mess. And again, I'll come back with a little spray paint just to help cover up that bare metal. I waited a few minutes and kind of let our paint dry. And we're gonna take our U-bolts and drop them down. We can go underneath the truck and get them secured. Underneath the truck, our U bolts drop down through. We're going to take the conical shaped spring and the wider end is going to go up against the hitch. We're going to take a hex nut. I'm just get it started hand tight for now. I'm going to do that same thing for all the ends of each U bolt. We're going to tighten the nuts down and we're going to tighten them up until the bottom of the nut is flush with the bottom of the U-bolt. So that's pretty flush, so that's what we're going to go with. Now we can go ahead and re-secure our exhaust. Now at this point, we can go ahead and reinstall our spare tire. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the B&W Custom Underbed Installation Kit for companion fifth wheel trailer hitches on our 2018 Ford F-250.